Welcome to the Filmstock channel, my name is Veronica and in this video I want to showcase to you some of the best titles, transitions, filters, elements and effects for wedding videos that you can find on the Filmstock website. And in the second part of this video I will give you a quick tutorial on how to add titles, transitions, effects and elements to your videos. for the elements in your videos to match the theme and decor of the event. I've put together a short list of packs from the Filmstock website that will go with different types of wedding styles, as well as a few packs that can be used for a variety of styles. Number one is the Wedding Floral Pack. This pack contains 12 beautiful floral animated titles, 7 elements, 2 effects and 2 transitions. The floral accents will go perfectly with classic, rustic, outdoor and garden weddings. The pink watercolour roses and gold accents will add an elegant touch to your videos. Number 2 is the Wedding Gold Pack. This pack offers 15 titles, 6 elements, 3 effects and 3 transitions. It's a perfect pack for luxury and modern weddings. The gold accents are simple yet elegant. Number 3 is the Wedding Watercolour Pack. This pack contains 8 titles, 56 elements, 5 effects and 1 transition. This pack has a very romantic and magical feel. It would be perfect for a fairy tale wedding or even classic or outdoor weddings. The variety of elements in this pack is great for layering and making arrangements. Number 4 is the Wedding Instagram Pack. This pack contains 23 titles and 1 element. This may not sound like much compared to the other packs, but it's ideal for bohemian weddings. The titles are natural and sophisticated. Number 5 is the Rustic Pack. This pack contains 10 titles, 33 elements, 6 effects and 5 transitions. As the name suggests, it is ideal for rustic weddings, but can also be used for outdoor and garden weddings. Number 6 is the Sparkle Pack. This pack contains 12 titles, 6 elements, 10 effects and 4 transitions. The sparkle effects have a very magical feel to them and can be used on their own or in combination with other packs. Number 7 is the Simple Wedding Pack. This pack contains 6 titles, 13 elements, 3 effects and 3 transitions. The effects in this pack are a little bit different this pop arty pack would be perfect for a modern or destination wedding with its cute animations. Number 8 is the Light Leak Overlay Pack. This pack contains 20 effects. The Light Leak Overlays are a perfect addition to other packs as they will complement any type of wedding video. They enhance the atmosphere and can make the video feel a lot more magical. Number 9 is the Gold Wedding Intro Pack. This pack contains 18 titles, 7 effects and 1 transition. This pack is very versatile. It has beautiful gold and floral accents and so it would be well suited to classic, romantic, outdoor or garden weddings. The titles are also quite minimalistic which would suit a modern wedding as well. Number 10 is the Wedding Title Pack. This pack contains 25 titles. This is pretty much an essential pack for any wedding videographers out there. These classic titles can be used in any wedding video to introduce the bride and the groom. Number 11 is the Particle Filter and Transitions Pack. This pack contains 24 different titles, 10 elements, 18 effects and 18 transitions. This pack is a great complementary pack to combine with effects from other packs. Like the Light Leak Overlay Pack, the effects in this pack can be used to make your videos feel more magical and enhance the atmosphere. And finally, number 12 is the Wedding Pack. This pack contains 10 titles, 14 elements, 3 effects and 2 transitions. This pack contains beautiful animations which would be perfect for a classic wedding video. The blue and yellow accents will also add a pop of colour to your videos. Let me know in the comments section below which of these packs was your favourite for wedding videos. Now it's time for the next part of this video, for those of you who are new to Filmstock and Filmora 11. 
So we're going to jump into the Filmora 11 video editor and I will show you how you can use the titles, effects, transitions and elements. Here we are in the Wondershare Filmora video editor and I just put some clips down on the timeline so we have some footage to work over. So first I'm going to show you how to add a title. So we're already in the titles tab and you can see on the left here all of the packs that were included in the previous section of this video. For example, let's use the titles from, this, from the wedding title pack. So to add a title you just need to click and drag the title onto the timeline. If you want to preview any of the title animations you can double click on the previews and you'll get a playback on the right. You can then click back on your timeline to return to your own preview. You can control the position of the title by clicking and dragging it on the timeline and you can click and drag the sides out to extend the duration of your title. Now to customize your title you need to double click on it on the timeline, go into the text tab and then select the piece of text on the preview. So here on the top one we can change the date, let's change it to 5th of May 2020. And to change the names you just need to click on the other piece of text within the preview and you can change the text right here. You can also click and drag the text around on the preview if you want to change the positioning of it. And don't forget that these texts are also fully customizable so you are free to change the color, the font, as well as text spacing, line spacing and positioning. Next let's go into the transitions tab. Same as before you will have the packs listed on the left side. For example let's go into the wedding gold pack and use the transition in the middle. So the same as with the titles you can preview the transitions by double clicking on the previews and you get a playback on the right of what the transition looks like. Next you just need to click and drag the transition in between the clips on the timeline. I'm just going to zoom in so that we can see better. So you can see that the transition is right here between the clips now and when I play it back this is what it looks like. So you can change the duration of the transition by either extending their sides or you can make it shorter by bringing them in. That's pretty much how simple it is to add transitions, you just click and drag them onto the timeline between the clips, all nice and easy. Next in the effects tab you will find your filters and overlays. So for example if I wanted to add some light leaks over the footage I would go into the light leaks tab and then click and drag an overlay onto the timeline. For example let's choose this one and then I click and drag it onto the timeline and just drop it down. You can then extend the duration of the clip by clicking and dragging the sides out and if you ever feel like the filter is too strong like it is right now you can double click on the filter or overlay on the timeline and use this slider right here to reduce the opacity. And then finally if you want to add any elements to your video they are in the elements tab of course. So here we have all of the wedding packs and let's go into the floral watercolor pack which has a lot of different elements. So with the elements you just click and drag them onto the timeline. Unfortunately you cannot extend their duration but you can reduce it if you want to. Next you'll need to adjust the size of the element so you just need to double click on the element on the timeline and you can use the preview to scale it down, rotate it and to drag it around. If you have a lot of different elements like in this pack you can actually stack them on the timeline. So I'm just going to make the timeline a little bit more visible and then I'm just going to drag in a few more elements on top of the one I've already put down. So stacking elements is very simple as you can see it's just a matter of putting them on the timeline on top of each other and then simply adjusting them on the preview. So you can play around with these and see what kind of arrangements you can create. So that's it for today's video, I hope that you found it useful and that it gave you some ideas for your own wedding videos. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments section below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Filmstock channel for more content like this and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!